Hey everyone, welcome back to My Apple Zone. And in this video, I'm going to do a demonstration and review of Pixelmator for the Mac. So let's get started. So I'd first like to thank Pixelmator for sending me the application to do the review. I really appreciate them doing that. So Pixelmator for the Mac is an image editing application uh, similar to Photoshop in many respects, but not quite as powerful. So I wanted to show you the functionality of Pixelmator by uh, opening an existing uh, Photoshop image that I created. Uh, you'll notice that this image um, is the image that I have as my channel banner. And what I want to do is recreate this image in Pixelmator to show you uh, the functionality uh, comparisons uh, between Pixelmator and Photoshop. So the first thing I'm going to do is come up here and uh, create a new image. Now, I've already done this demo once before, so the, the uh, size, the uh, width, and the height are already in there. So I'm going to open or create the new image. And let's go ahead and create our background. We'll get the eyedropper here. Get the color, uh, go to the paint bucket. So over in our um, layers palette, we've got the background layer already set up. So now we want to include the text that uh, was created in Photoshop. So we'll go over here to the text icon, uh, the text tool, and let's do my Apple Zone. And we'll do medium oh, I guess it's light never mind so, and we will let's move the uh, text over some change the text color here to white Okay, so we've, we've recreated the text, um, recreated the background. I'm not going to recreate this text because I've, I've shown you we can already do that. So I want to go ahead and recreate the uh, filter. The filter I used here in Photoshop is glass. So I'm going to select the background layer and come up here to filters. And let's look at uh, glass. Uh, that's not it. But it's a pretty cool filter. Um, so the filter that I used in Photoshop um, is not available in Pixelmator. So uh, that just goes to show you one of the differences. There's some more differences too. For example, you cannot view the history uh, in Pixelmator. There's no history window like there is in Photoshop. But there's a lot of similarities. The layers palette is a lot is very similar. The swatches palette is very similar. The brushes palette is very similar. Um, and the, uh, the toolbar menu is very similar as well. So if you've used Photoshop in the past, you'll have no problem picking up Pixelmator. It's a really easy image application to uh, start learning and, and use. So the best thing about Pixelmator is the price. We'll go over here to the Mac App Store, and Pixelmator is only $29.99. That's a bargain considering all the features you're getting. So we'll go back to Pixelmator here. Now, Pixelmator is not a replacement for Photoshop. It is an alternative to Photoshop. I am not a high-end graphic designer, so I don't need all the high-end features of Photoshop and you might not need those features either so if you're looking for a uh, feature rich image editing application that has a lot of the features and functions of Photoshop I would highly suggest Pixelmator especially for the price 29 bucks uh, you can't beat the price for the functionality it's got a lot of functionality for the price great application Again, this is not a Photoshop replacement, so if you're a high-end graphic designer, Pixelmator is not going to work for you. Again, it doesn't have the filters or, the, or a lot of the high-end um, functions and features that Photoshop has. Another thing that I really like about Pixelmator is that it doesn't take up a lot of um, CPU or RAM. Uh, right now, it's using, Pixelmator is using up about three-tenths of a percent of the processor and about 96 mega RAM. Go over to Photoshop. Photoshop's using up 
oh, almost 1% and 142 mega RAM. So as you can see, Pixelmator is uh, a lot easier on your RAM and a lot easier on your processor. So that's another nice little feature of Pixelmator. It doesn't take up a lot of RAM, doesn't use up a lot of processing performance. So you guys, tell me what you think of Pixelmator. If you've used Photoshop, what do you think of Pixelmator? If you've used Pixelmator, let me know what you think. Leave a comment down below. Is it a, is it a good Photoshop alternative, or are there better alternatives out there? I think for the price, Pixelmator is a really good Photoshop alternative for the low to middle end graphic designer. But let me know your thoughts. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate you stopping by, and until next time, I'll talk to you later.